Hi, and welcome to the video on locating the funding source of a scientific study. Let's start by asking, who pays for science? Most scientific research is funded by government grants, private companies doing research and development, and nonprofit organizations. As a society, we support science every day through the taxes we pay, the products and services we purchase from companies, and donations we make to charities. In a perfect world, scientific studies would be completely objective, but unfortunately, money and funding introduces the possibility of bias. For example, a pharmaceutical company paying for a study of a new depression medication may influence the study's design or interpretation of the findings to subtly favor the drug they are trying to market. It's important to scrutinize the funding of studies to identify possible biases. This leads us to the question, how do you find the funding source of a scientific article? Sometimes the authors will be explicit and identify the funding source in the text of the article. Usually, they will list it at the top or near the bottom of the article. There may even be an acknowledgement section that lists the funding. Other times, it can take a little more digging, and even then, you may not be able to find it. My first example is from Advances in Nutrition. The article is about T flavonoids and the impact on cardiovascular health. I found a section on the second page of this article that states the funding is provided by a grant from Unilever to the Think Healthy Group. I can use Google to investigate these two entities further. The article goes on to explicitly state the funder had no role in the study selection, quality assessment, data analysis, or writing of the manuscript. This statement adds an additional level of transparency to the study in terms of the funding source. And this leads me to believe the authors want to be intentional about any possible questions of bias. My next example is a study comparing three methods of hand drying and their impact on virus dispersal. It's from 2016 and was published in the Journal of Microbiology. And the researchers are from the Department of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Westminster in the UK. The results of the study found that paper towels did a better job of reducing virus dispersal than jet air dryers. Further down the article, I find this section called Conflict of Interest. It states the study is independently funded from a University of Westminster Research Reserve account. However, it goes on to note that one of the authors received an honoraria from the European Tissue Symposium. I'll use Google to investigate this group more. And here I find it's a conference for the European Tissue Paper Association. Does this mean the information is wrong? Not necessarily. However, it does lead to further questions, such as, does the study seem fairly designed? Are the results consistent with other independently funded studies? And what do other scientists have to say about this research? I'll investigate these questions further using Google Scholar, a great tool for tracking the progress of scientific debate through the use of citations. I'll search for the title of the article and look for the cited by link. In this case, my original article has been cited by 15 other publications since 2016. I can click the cited by link to get a list of those 15 publications. It is the sixth entry in the list that catches my attention because it is a review study or a study that compares the methods and results of different research articles reporting on the same topic. This article concludes there is little agreement regarding the outcomes, and it has its own statement declaring conflict of interest, to which the authors state there is none. A little scrutiny can go a long way towards identifying bias associated with a funding source. Scholarly articles will often list their funding sources somewhere within the article, either in an acknowledgments area or conflict of interest section. Identifying the funding source can lead to further questions about the design and conclusions of the study. What do other scientists say about this research?